India's response to the Chinese aggressive behavior at Yangtze borders in the Tawang area of India's state of Arunachal Pradesh on 9th of December 2022 has been swift, firm and decisive. India exhibited sharp resolve to protect her sovereignty and territorial integrity. In the early hours of December 9, 2022, a battalion of China's army scaled the mountains adjoining the Tawang tract at Yangtze to set up a post to observe and dominate the border regions with India. Several attempts were made before as well but were thwarted by the Indian soldiers present in the vicinity. After President Xi Jinping's visit to Nyangchi prefecture in July 2021, which is just opposite to Arunachal Pradesh, China began spending more on the dual use infrastructure projects in Tibet. increased the number of troops in areas north of Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim and exhibited aggressive patrolling in the border areas. China's current renewed attempt indicates that India needs to further strengthen its defenses in the region comprehensively. Indeed, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh made a statement in the Indian Parliament on December 13. He decried the efforts of Chinese troops to change the status quo in the region that was addressed by the Indian troops in a firm and resolute manner. While the ensuing fisticuffs resulted in injuries to both sides, unlike the Galwan incident of June 2022, these did not lead to any casualties on the Indian side. As China's aggressive behavior has increased in its intensity in recent times, India is making a comprehensive strategy to address this challenge. These include political, diplomatic, strategic, military and infrastructure developments across the borders with China and beyond. At the political level, India is making a statement that China, despite written agreements on maintaining status quo on the borders, such as in 1993 Peace and Tranquility Agreement, 1996 Confidence Building Measures Agreement, and those in 2005, 2012, and 2013, is unable to adhere to such agreements. For instance, the External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar had stated at several fora that there is a credibility gap on China's part to address on this issue. At the diplomatic level, India has conveyed red lines in conduct of bilateral relations with China. India's External Affairs Minister had stated after the Galwan incident in June 2020 that unless and until peace and tranquility prevails on the borders bilateral relations cannot flower as a result nearly 30 dialogue processes with China have been discontinued in the last 3 years indicating to the displeasure of India in this regard India also initiated several strategic measures to counter China's aggressive behavior viewing such changes in china not as an isolated phenomenon but as a general trend of its foreign and security policies of assertiveness india is cobbling up close partnerships with like-minded countries to exert pressure on china for instance the quad was formed among india united states japan and australia Four summit meetings have taken place in a short period of time. Although the Quad's focus is on maritime issues, India is sending a message to China through Quad that New Delhi is not isolated but in fact has been involved in peace building norms. One effect of this strategic move is gaining credence and help in diplomatic and military levels in strengthening India's capabilities. For instance, India has been receiving advanced military equipment from the United States and other western countries and had recently conducted an army exercise at Oli, Uttarakhand with the US army. Also, Japan and Australia have shown indirect support to India on Doklam crisis and on Arunachal Pradesh. This strategic support from different quarters helps bolster India's choices. Thus India is making its own military preparations against China in a concerted manner. The Indian armed forces are strengthening conventional and strategic deterrence capabilities for the past few decades. While the previous focus was on defensive operations with over 11 mountain divisions positioned against China, there is now an option that India is toying of raising an offensive core. Many units of this mountain strike core are in place. besides acquiring air land battle components finally india has expanded her infrastructure capabilities on november 19 prime minister narendra modi visited arunachal pradesh and inaugurated the doni polo airport and a hydroelectricity project at kaming district an east west highway is being planned to connect various border areas of arunachal pradesh 
Apart from this, more than 40 strategic roads have been constructed recently across India's borders with China. Anuja Kumar for World News. Thank you.